Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing For the King. It's um, it's an actual good game for a change, so I'll explain it as we go, shall I? So pick an adventure to begin with. I've got For the King, Dungeon Crawl, Frost Adventure, Hildebrandt's Cellar, which goes standard For the King. They're kind of uh, different scenarios, I'd say. Um, apprentice difficulty, game mode, solo. Don't know what that. I think that means house rules. Yeah. I ignore that. Shit. And let's go. Create the game. So it's sort of like a mix between a board game and an actual RPG with a lot of rogue elements to it. You'll see my characters are Fifi Joe. I made that joke many months ago and it's just kept with me. I'm going to randomise it a few times. Hunter, hobo, hunter. Nah. We'll, we'll go for we'll go for five, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. So we got a scholar, a hobo, and another scholar. Nah, I don't like that. Scholar, minstrel. I just want three different ones. That would do. Scholar, hobo, blacksmith. You know what? I've changed my mind already. We're gonna get rid of the hobo. We'll have a hunter. Ho Hobo's a class that I paid to unlock through in-game currency. Um. All it just means is like a blank state. They get nothing to start with. First the wizard Vexor vanishes. Then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of far rule. Seek out him the rent in wood smoke. Alright, easy enough. There's story going on, but you can largely ignore it and just look at the symbols. Like a good board game. Three characters, turn-based. Each character gets a, gets a move on their own. If you split up too much, you can't fight together in combat. That's about it, really. So this is Fee. If I attack this thing, will I get help? No, my guys are too far away to aid me, so I'll just run around them. Shit! I found an ancient quarry. What's the deal? Uh, there's two Cthulhu-looking monsters in there. Uh, just I'll just end the turn there. I need re I need reinforcements, at least five. The amount of move you get is derived from their earlier stats. All right, he can end there. How do you end turn? That's how. All right, who's my last guy? This is the I think this is the blacksmith. Yeah. Blacksmith is code for warrior, really. Alright, you're not going anywhere anyway. Let's fight the scourge of the ancient quarry. I'm not really high enough level for this. Ooh. My memory is long, yet you are strange to me. No matter, I'll enjoy dismantling you. So I've had this game for a while. Um, it's a very good game. However, that's still nothing. It's not great for a video, but I feel obligated to make a video out of it just because I kind of have to. So what you see there is that's going to do six damage. There's a 50% chance of perfect. What that means is those three black hexes up there, it's going to roll dice based on them. If I get all of them, it's perfect. I can use my focus to throw up some preordained ones. I forgot how to remove it then. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I did it anyway. This is going to be a really tough fight. This enemy is strong. And I am not. And I'm frozen. Uh, splash damage, draw attention. I'm going to use a bit of focus. Good. You see by that, that the Dimos's health, it's got... Uh... Yeah. It's got those two shields. The blue one means physical resistance. The purple one means magic resistance. That's, that's why he's taking sod all damage. Ah. He's got, he's got ice and fire. How is that fair? Nice. We do outnumber him, though. That's a huge advantage. Numbers are, is, are everything in this. Numbers and preparedness. I used the wrong attack then. Damn it. Son of a bitch. 
Oh shit, Fee died. Ah oh, crap, Joe died. Okay, I've got options here. Um, now I've just got to remember how to do said options. There we are. Uh, under no. Fuck it, I'll use that. Okay, what I've just remembered is you can only use one item per turn, and I wasted it on using that, which makes me evade. But I'm on fire, so I might take damage anyway. Ah, oh, and he failed the attack. Right. I've got a slim chance. Oh no, I'm faster than him. Let's use another item. Replenish health. Focus. There is a way to revive them, but I don't think I can do it in combat. What could have been a very long video is turning into a very short video, I feel. Due to my own hubris. I, a starter hero with start equipment, decided to try and take down an eldritch beast. And I now have one health. And I'll never kill him in one hit. Yep. Okay. So the party's all dead. Um, I forget what happens now. The quest has failed. Such a pity. Game over. Okay. So that was for the king. No. I did. Oh, the law store's open. Have I got any money? I've got one to spend. That's not enough to buy anything. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Now, is there a low? No, the adventure is the lowest. It's fine. That was that was just showing you the ropes. Um, I've, am I confident in this party, Fifi Joe? Why is there an X? Oh, because you can get rid of him. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this this layout. It's, it kind of works, isn't it? Yeah, we're on the brink of chaos. Kind of randomizes the map every time, but you, you, you're doing the same sort of story. Right, I'm going to be a bit smarter this time. I'm just going to go straight to Wood Smoke and just do the quest and get the reward. Boom. Uh, all signs point some evil folk in the glittering mines. This game bears somewhat resemblance to Armello, if you're familiar with that game. Uh, right, do I want to do anything in wood smoke? No. What's this thing that's appeared? Quest objective, cult device. Am I supposed to solve the cult? Solve the cult device. Okay. Hmm. That tells me nothing. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wait here. I always forget how to end turn. Right. Well, annoyingly, this has appeared in my way, so I'm gonna have to fight him. Now you can see the area of influence of this combat. It's gonna bring in my other character, but also that wasp, which is fine. They're all level zero. I'm level zero. This this will be how a fight should be. You against multiple enemies. Shit. Alright, let's see. Let's see, why would I ever go for the standard one? There's no difference. Uh, do it. Yes! Huge. Obscene. I can maybe kill him. He's got no magic resistance. He's only got physical resistance. Oh yeah, he's fucked. Now, if my blacksmith nails this one... This, this is how combat should be. Yeah, uh, you... Yeah, starting off, at least, you should be relatively strong. Uh, now, rather D&D esque, I've got five coins. I can give them all to one character, or I can share them between them. So I'll just share them between them. Now, a makeshift mace does 12 physical damage, has smash and stun. They're the two actions you can take with it. It shows you the, the role it will take to use it. And up there, the top left, that's some attributes of the weapon. I think that means two-handed and breakable. Uh, well, I'm going to have to assume that's what that means. Either way, it's not something I want for any of them. Because while it is better than the hammer, I'd sooner keep hold of the uh, the other thing. So you can just hold on to that. Not use it, just, just hold on to it. Alright, now you just wait there. I think if I end a turn near each other, that's that's a good thing to do. 
Ah, fucking crow. A swarm of crows. So I could fight them. I could ambush them. 36% chance of success. Or I could sneak past them. A crow this size must be 100 years old. I'm going to try and ambush them. I'm going to use focus to do so. Nice. So I think... In, oh, it's only one. I thought it was a swarm. I, I'm now realising I don't really know what that means. I wasted that focus on this fight. Two coins. Brilliant. No sharing of two coins. Okay. Strange mechanism just looks wrong. So if I try and dismantle it, I've got a 22% or possibly 27% chance of success. Fairly high chance of failure. Um, now it's, it's a physical check. And she's the weakest physically of my party. So I'm actually just going to leave. And move towards the next objective with her. Okay. She just gained two more movement. Which I didn't really want. Oh look a dark cave. We're going to completely ignore that this time. Um, now he's got a fair amount of, of go and strength. See, this 43% chance of success. If I throw a focus at that, it goes... Pr I'm going to go for it. Well, that couldn't have been worse. But, but I mean, it could have been worse. All right, you just go over here and wait. I'll make camp here for him. I'm not actually making camp. I've, I said that, but that's, that is something you can do, make camp. All right, 83% chance. Come on. Yes, made it. So I can have minus one chaos, which I don't really need. Chaos isn't in high at the minute. Plus one life. Uh, the lives of those hearts, so long as I have one person survivor combat, I can bring people back using that. Minus one scourge. I'm going to go for the life, because that prolongs this video. Um, see, I could split up the party, but it's, it's far more sensible to keep them close together. If you, if you split them up, you... You just screw yourself in the end. Okay. So I'm going to fight this guy and then bring in the fight with the others in their little camp. Uh, right. Which one's got the armor? It's very odd controls, I must say. They're kind of built for mouse and keyboard. Or possibly touch screen, to be honest. But they work well enough. It just takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, okay, let's go for this one. Perfect. That's what I needed. Alright, so that magic will kill that. Four damage. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Well, that was pathetic, woman. Is she a woman? Yep. Oh, come on. Good. Picking on the ranger. That's hardly fair, is it? Now, if I use this one, there's a slim chance the slash damage will kill him. Nice. It actually killed both of them. Like in all RPGs, if you if you get, like, fighters are strong at the start. And, uh, what's it called? Wizards. They, get, they, they become stronger later on. But this game's short, so you want, you want fighters, don't you? Now, I've got this warlock bucket. It says Warlock Bucket. It looks like it's kind of wizardy, but it lowers intelligence. So, I'm going to give it to Joe. Actually, Joe's... No. I was going to say, Joe already had a helmet. That's just that's just a character. Right, you, you can wait here for the next one. Doesn't matter how many... Wow. I was going to say, it doesn't matter how much movement I get, but it nearly did. Nearly had fuck all. Chaos Leader Camp. Um, well, he's level 1, so are my characters, so this will be quite a tough fight. Uh, I'm going to attempt an ambush, I'm going to throw... Yeah, that'll do. Fortunately, it's my ranger who's doing the ambushing, who's good at that. You'll see ambushing takes the eye skill, whatever that's called. And my ranger has 83, which is obscene. So let's... Alright, let's try it. Yes. 
There's more of you. You should really consider joining us instead. I mean, it's tempting. It's not the worst offer I've ever had. My instinct is to go for this guy with the flaming torch. I don't know why. Just something about the way he stands. So was my ambush just that that character got to, got to go twice? It's possible. I haven't played this game for a while. Well, that's that's annoying. Bleeding, if memory serves. It doesn't damage you every time. It just damages you sometimes. Ah, see, this will only do four damage. That does six, but it might ignore armor. Better to do this one. Nice. Critical as well. It's what I like about this sort of turn-based combat. All of the information is is there. You can see it all. The the attack orders at the top. That's good. It's speed-based, which is fine. It gives you it gives you percentages for everything and, and damage numbers. It just it just makes it so much easier to sort of plan. Um, what am I doing though? Let me throw a bit of focus into this. Good. There we go. That's whittling them down a bit. Now, he hasn't got a lot of health. I'm going to think about using a herb. And, I'm, in fact, I'm going to go as far as doing it. There's, there's, no, uh, there's nothing to save up for. You might as well just fight. Yeah, if I kill him... Ah, I didn't die, the bitch. I'm going to attempt to use splash magic to kill two of them right now. And I'm going to throw a bit of focus on it. You know what? Let's get double focus. Nice. That's good. That's what we want. That's really thin their herd out a bit. The payment has promised. 18 coins. Wasn't worth it. Ah, Book of Law. Oh, I, now I remember. I was looking at it. I was thinking, what the fuck is a Book of Law? It's, it's like the... It's what you it's what you buy stuff from the shop with that that makes the game more intriguing. Like new character classes, that sort of thing. So I got a staff which requires intelligence to use. Forty three intelligence, fifty one and eighty three. Um it's better than the scholar's book. It's two handed, but she hasn't got a shield anyway. Does more damage. Uh and it gives health regen. It's just, it's superior in every way. Use this to gain 6 EXP. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Again, there's really no point in holding on to anything. Thanks for dealing with these pointy-hatted weirdos, but I have a feeling we haven't seen the last for them. That's not what he said. The chaos has diminished. We have a chance. It's all a race against time, you see. Right, the glittering mines are open. So I have to purge them. Oh, and uh, deliver, deliver a letter. Deliver the death certificate. Okay. So here's my thinking. The uh, Joe, the blacksmith, has piss poor movement. As proven by his entire lack of movement there. So I'm going to send him to the mines, which is the short route. Uh, let's try and ambush. Fuck it. Worked. Okay, send him to the mines, right? Oh, if you ambush, they don't get um, they don't get back up. That's what it is. Yeah, fuck you. Fucked up that giant wasp. Good. Hmm. Permanent plus one to resistance. Resistance is magic resistance. Now, I'm thinking Joe, my blacksmith, who could be a woman. It's kind of a tank, so let's let's go with that as a as a build. She's, he's going to go up there. One of these two, whoever gets the most movement, or goes first, they're going to head to to the far off deliver a letter place, which is down there. And I've got to go past this Sanctum of Purity. Poison immunity, curse immunity. If memory serves, Sanctums like that are a bit... Ooh, weathered runestone. Um, fuck it. Go for it. Nice. Plus 6 XP. Ooh. I think they just leveled up. No. I can't remember if you have to do anything when they level up. 
Yeah, that Sanctum thing, that works a bit like in uh, in Skyrim. You had, uh, you had, what's it called? The, um, like the, the, this, this, the birthstones. Is that what they were? Where you'd, you'd pick a symbol, like the steed or whatever, and it would give you permanent upgrades. They, they kind of work like that. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send him there now. Change my mind. I'm gonna devote him to that. See, Joe's now immune to poison and curse. That's huge. Fuck it, I'll take down this wasp. I've only got two of my guys against their three, but it should be fine. I've got that new staff. And it's the ranger that's missing. The ranger's bullshit anyway. Wow, they uh, get quite an immediate attack, don't they? So I've got blast and time jump. I can't remember what time jump does. It says rush. Target friendly. I think that just makes you skip to your next attack. And party heal. Hmm. If I have to use God's beard. Oh, there's a herb. I've got. So I can heal, but I, I, it requires an item. It's not great. Doesn't really matter which one I attack. Nice. Right, if you get a kill as well, then we'll be sorted. Perfect. Is Fifi Joe a good joke? Like Fifi Foam? No. I, I don't think it is. It was on a whim at the time. I think initially it, it gives you some generated level. Ah, good. He leveled up as well. Ah, so they're both level 1 now. That's good. I can only have. Yeah, only one character can claim a sanctum. Right. What you got down here? Uh. Okay, so uh, I'm thinking that whilst I have Gonza's Adventurer's Home, I don't have the death certificate. And I don't know where it is. It could be over here. It could be that I'm supposed to have got it from one of these towns. You know what? Adventurer doesn't get a death certificate. We're just going to... Go on with the. Is that a giant plant? Is that a giant man eating plant? I've just noticed. So, this, these glittering mines are quite high level actually. They're level 2, and I'm only level 1 to 0. You know what? I'm not going to go in there yet. We're gonna, I'm going to head back to town, pick up a quest, is what I'm going to do. Oh, I've, I've stumbled upon a drinking contest. Now, my heartiness is 71, or constitution as it actually is. That's pretty good. Gives me a... What's that? 47% chance of success? Let's go for it. Yay! Six gold. Okay, second in a drinking contest. That's just what you want. Oh, come on. Two movement? That's bullshit. Alright. So, what I really... I need... I'll, I'll attack this crow eventually. Might come at me. Oh, a mud pit. I'm trapped in a mud pit. Brilliant. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck it. It's all a game of when to spend your focus and when to re regain focus. My, my theory is you save focus when it really matters. Right, let's take out this bitch. Uh, actually, ambush won't help me there. Hmm. Beastman Raider's got... It looks like he's stuck a shield onto a stick. If I can get the kill, that'll be what I want. Nope. Fucking useless. I hate rangers. They're bullshit. Particularly in turn-based combat, where the fact they have a ranged attack really doesn't, doesn't benefit in any way. Oh, so close. I reckon that would have been a critical and done him in. So we'll fall in on Joe now. Joe's going to do this shockwave attack. It's going to work. I don't even throw a focus at it. It's going to kill all of them. Jesus Christ, Joe. What have you been eating? You know what? You know what, Joe? 
you get you get all the gold. Not even sharing it this time. You did basically all the work, you get the gold. Didn't quite make it to wood smoke though. Um I think I lost the movement because of the storms. Or on my fourth turn I'm gonna get hit by lightning. Right. Services. It, it confirmed so quickly that I hit services and I think I spent a night in the inn by accident. I did, yeah. Brilliant. Well, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Uh, do I want to buy anything? I'm not going to buy anything. I can't be bothered to look at the list. Uh, what do I want? Um, gold, gold, item, reduce care. So I'm going to go for this bounty mission. I get a war axe. That looks amazing. Kill the scary ghost in the Guardian Forest. I'm in the Guardian Forest. That's the scary ghost. It's near the objective as well. It's a good quest to pick up. The quest will be the same for the other lot. There's no point looking at it for all of them. The mystery sort of goes a bit and it when it when it flat out tells you how much movement you got before it rolls. Yeah, yeah, come on, just get get them all together. Come on. Have enough so I can just get straight there. So close. How are we doing for time? You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll end it there because the next video will be super exciting and we'll start with a fight against the scary ghost. That's not me being YouTube-y. It's called the scary ghost. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.